Hi YouTube family and welcome into today's video which is actually going to be about placement of your contour, your blush, and your highlight if you are over 40 or if you have mature face or actually even if you have a very full face like I do. And so I'm going to be kind of over exaggerating things a little bit, but at the same time, and when I end up, I will be all blended out. So I hope that you will enjoy this and please give it a thumbs up if you do like me to do these little small tutorials for you guys. I'm gonna start with contour. I did do a video on contouring a fat face and it was about the all over contour. This is about just placement on the cheeks. So um, I'm going to actually be using my Sephora contour palette. I really like this color in the middle right here. It is a very, very um, neutral tone, almost on the cool tone side for contouring. So I'm actually, and I'm using a brush that I just got from Wet n Wild. Um, I did my other contour, so it is very dirty this morning, but it is just kind of a flat brush, um, thin and flat, and then very flat on the top. So I'm going to dip my, uh, my brush into the product. And what I'm going to do, and this is about placement, um, usually what I tell people to do and I did in that last video was to take a look at where the top of your ear is and where the corner of your mouth is and to put that there and you know go ahead and do your contour right there and you'd be able to see the hollow of your cheek right there but what I want you to do is I want you to put it just a tiny bit above there why? Why do I want you to put it a tiny bit above there? Because as we age, our face kind of droops and pulls down. And that's what this is going to do. If you got this too far down on your cheek, then absolutely, definitely, you would look like you had, um, you know, your face had been pulled down and that you, you know, the aging process was getting you a little bit faster. So on this side, again, I'm just taking it and I'm going a little bit higher than what I've previously talked about. And Wayne Goss talked about this pretty recently, I think. But um, I just wanted to make sure that my um, gals that are aging understand that contouring is not a big deal. It is very easy to do. We can do this. It can be very something that is very, very helpful in our makeup routine. Part of that reason that it can be so helpful in our makeup routine is because it gives us the definition of cheekbones. If we're, you know, if we have a very full face, I have a very kind of fat face and we just don't have defined cheekbones like we used to, unless we're very, very thin, which I'm not. So after I lay that down, I'm using a small stipple brush from e.l.f. That's just one of their $3 ones. And then I'm just going to go back and forth motions and I'm not bringing that around very much. This is just to give this part right here about halfway down your cheek some definition. And it is quite high up on the cheek. So just going ahead with that and showing you. And I'm just blending the crap out of it so that it really, really blends well. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to use is blusher. And I don't know if you guys would like a video on how to match your blusher with your eye look or anything like that. It's not really a lot of rocket science to it. Um, you just choose one that goes really well with your eye color. But this time I'm using one called Heather Pop from Clinique. I love these blushes. Um, it seems like they never go down, but I use them all the time. They are matte blush. It's a really beautiful pinky mauve color. I really do like it. And it goes with so many of my eye looks. I'm using an IT Cosmetics brush that is a large angle stipple brush. I think you can only get this one on QVC. And again, you can see right where I did that contour and you just wanna make sure, and I always start from back by my ear. That way if I have too much on, it's gonna kinda of be hidden by my hair as I go through the day. So I'm just gonna start back by the ear there and this brush lays down exactly how much you want it to. If you don't want a lot of blush, it's not gonna put a lot of blush down and you can build up. So I love this brush for that. Now. I do not want you to bring your brush any further than put, you know, hold it in the middle of the pupil of your eye, look directly ahead, and I don't want your blush to come in on the apples of the cheeks at all if you're any sort of aging woman at all. What we're doing is we're pulling all of that up. We are pulling all of our look up. So I'm barely going to be bringing it towards the apple of the cheek and I'm, I'm going up the temple and my hair's in the way, going up the temple and I'm just, you know, patting it. Um, this is such a nice brush for this motion of how this works. And I can bring it up a little bit above the eyebrow if you want to, that's okay. Now I'm gonna do the other side 
and same thing again I am starting in the back and I'm kind of working my way around bringing it up around the eyebrow a little bit just to pull everything together and just make sure that you do not go below your contour you're wanting to blend this in with your contour so that they look really really seamless um, they don't look like they're two different entities on your face there and one thing is that I don't wear a ton of blush um, when I'm wearing a pretty heavy eye so I just kind of you know want a natural flush in my cheeks okay so that was blusher now let's switch over to highlighter and today I chose to use this duo chrome highlighter from NYX and the name on it is lavender steel and it does have a little tiny bit of a cast of lavender but not too much so I'm going to use a fan brush um, you can use any fan brush you want. I like this particular one. I think I got in a boxy charm months and months ago, but I like this particular one because it's so light and it's so airy that I'm not putting too much on at once. And actually I'm going to use a very, very light hand and I'm going to go way up now. I'm not going to bring this down here in this area at all. I'm actually almost to my eye. If you can see, I'm like a half an inch to an inch away from my eye and I'm just tapping that on. And then I'm gonna go up and around the eyebrow just a tiny bit. And you guys can see that I didn't put a ton of this on at all. Now, if you wanna put more on, you can. This is a really, really beautiful color for this. I'm looking in a mirror here and I'm looking in a mirror here so that you guys can um, see where I'm placing everything and I can see too. So you can see how pretty that is and how pretty that highlighter is. Just gave me a little bit of a shift of a really nice sheen on there. Now lots of people go down their nose. Um, I don't do the tip of the nose because I feel like it brings too much attention to the tip of my nose, which I think is kind of weird. I always have anyway. So I just go down the bridge of my nose just a tiny bit. With whatever's left on my fan brush, I don't pick up more product. So I just do that. And that is really it. Now I'm going to use some setting spray and my face is completely done. So that was really simple, easy tutorial. I'm going to refer you in the link back to my tutorial on um, how to contour a fat face and it's going to tell you how to do the whole entire face down the neck everything and you're gonna you're gonna really like it because it's very very simple and that's what I like to do with makeup I like to keep it as simple as possible so if you enjoy me giving you these videos give me a big old thumbs up so that I know that you do enjoy me um, giving you these tutorials you know recently there's a conversation going around on a Facebook group that I um, subscribe to and it talked about why youtubers only do PR unboxings and hauls and that kind of thing instead of why aren't they getting back to tutorials? And I thought, you know, it's really good to scoot us back towards tutorials, but I'll tell you guys something, a little secret, is that our tutorials on YouTube are our least watched videos. And for me, I'm always looking for tutorials myself, but they are the least watched videos. And so if you're a, a small YouTuber like I am, you gravitate towards what people want. And a lot of people want reviews or something like that. So that's why you're not seeing a lot of um, videos come out from people that are just about tutorials or just about doing makeup. I'm happy to do it for you guys because I love doing it and I love showing you guys new things that, are, you know, new ways of putting on your makeup that can make you look younger and more youthful. So that's it for my video for today. And now I can get off my soapbox. I love you guys so very much. Thank you for always being so supportive of me. You have no idea how much that means to me. And I will talk to you in my very next video. Bye you guys.